Season two! Bro, what the f is going on right now? We made a few renovations. We got the new black walls. We got a new door coming in next week. We got Rudy here today, my good friend. He's a musician, a director, a comedian. He's hilarious. He's the guy that got me into making videos. Jeff's the guy who got me into uh, start drinking. Um, but I've been cutting your hair for a long time. Your dad's a barber. He used to cut your hair growing up. My dad was the only person who cut my hair. And as you know, hair, my hair is a big part of my life. So you doing the man bun still? Hell Kinda? No. no? You were once the most followed person on Vine, right? One of. And now you have over 6 million subscribers on YouTube. I do, yeah. What's it like being friends with Justin Bieber? <laughs> uh, it's like being friends with anybody that you like. It's like being friends with you. I didn't give you your career though. <laughs> you think Justin Bieber gave me my career? Yeah. But you're friends with JB too. I don't like to drop names though. You just did though. But tell me about the first time you met Justin. First time we met. Man, I truly can't even remember. I have a feeling it was like a party, a rooftop somewhere, and we met kind of in passing. We met a couple more times, and it wasn't until a few times that we actually sat down and hung out and jammed at the studio that we really hit it off. Yeah. Those days. You remember those days? Jesus Christ, Reggie. We're talking about how we met Justin Bieber. Your phone's gonna ring? Do me a favor, call that person back right call now. Call my dad right now? Call, him, call your dad back right now. You gonna make him call his dad? Come on, get your phone out. It's all right. Call him back. I'll just tell the story again. Oh, he's a big boy. You wanna work on Hollywood sets? He's messing around, though. <laughs> Learn set here, etiquette, man. Nerf's gonna cut his paws, man. You wanna have Nerf cut his paws? Etiquette. Et what, am I saying it right? Definitely et not. Etiquette. Set etiquette. Everyone okay? You're out of your fucking mind, Jeff. Sometimes I don't know when you guys are kidding or not. Reggie, I'm sorry. I might have overreacted a little bit. I really believe in you and I, I want things to work smoothly. Soon we're gonna have really big YouTubers on this show. You know? Um, is this normal for you to be breaking stuff and yelling at your, your, your crew? Actually, yeah, it is. We kind of do it every episode. So you're a talk show host yourself with Awkward Puppets? Yeah, we did the, the whole Diego interviewing celebrities thing. Getting back into it soon, actually. Oh yeah? Yeah. I loved it, man. What's your favorite video you've ever made? Uh, my fa I don't know what my favorite video is, man. I, I can't remember half of them. Most but, recent yeah. favorite video? Probably Blockeo. It was a music video I directed. Why okay. don't you go back to doing the old stuff? Um, I love your old videos. The ones you're making now are, are not as, like, I don't really like them, but your old stuff was great. Yeah, well thanks, you know. To each their own, I guess. I enjoy directing. It's my, my form of evolution for what I want to do. What's next for you, man? Uh, just more directing, working on developing a movie right now. Can I be in the movie? No. Let's talk about your parents. I know both your parents and they're both hilarious people. Where do you think you get your sense of humor from? I think a combination of both. My dad, as you know, is a very strong-headed Italian. My mom's a very passionate Brazilian. I think I draw inspiration from from them both. What about you? Unfortunately, my dad. Do you think you're funny? Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's interesting. You're on a plane. You're in first class. You could have anybody in the world, living or dead, sitting next to you. Who would you pick? What a question. Charlie Chaplin. Really? I thought he doesn't really talk much. I mean, it was a silent film so era. So he would be quiet the whole time and he could get some sleep? No, he talked a lot actually. He was a director, actor, musician, film score, editor. Anyway, I'd have a lot of questions for a do-it-all himself type man, so. Yeah. What about you? Probably Leo. I would ask him how many girls he had sex with. Le Le you could Le choose anyone in the Leonardo world. You choose, you choose Leo. Okay. Leo's, Leo's an incredible actor, but you probably bump into him already right I now. I bump into him all the time. I was taking a piss in a urinal the other day and he came in and, and he was pissing in the urinal next to me. Where? <laughs> One Oak. If you could fight any YouTuber, any other YouTuber, who would it be? You. That's fair, makes sense. You remember that time we were living in Hollywood and what? I was shooting something musical in my, my house? Oh we're yeah. Working on the instrumental. I hear knocking on the door, a vicious knocking on the door. And I'm like, what the, f what is that? I go up and open it and it's Jeff bleeding. His I was knuckles attacked. are bruised and had, I was, had blood on him. I was attacked by a crackhead on the street. Being the vigilante that I am, I had to take him out and I broke my hand in the process of that. And I came to Rudy's house to get some frozen peas. That's the Jeff we all knew. Yeah. Something I, was usually broken or bloodied up. And I'm the same guy. I just cleaned up my act. 
for YouTube. Can we talk about your weight loss transformation? You really want me to talk about how I used to be heavy? Yeah, you used to be probably two, three, 300 pounds when you were like what, nine years old? I was a big kid. All right, we're gonna talk about this, let's do it. I used to be fat, I used to be very fat. How'd you lose the weight? Uh, diet and exercise, man. I was done, I was done with the fat. I was the funny fat kid. And at a certain point, you don't wanna be the funny fat kid anymore, you just wanna be the funny kid. Do you think it's easier being funny when you're fat? No, not necessarily. You just have to kind of redesign what kind of funny you are. Do you think know. I'm not as funny because I'm, I'm- Handsome? Ins- Probably. I don't think you'd be funny either way, to be honest. But you're handsome. How's your relationship going? With Maya. Yeah. Great. She's great. We're in a really good place. Who's gonna be your next uh, girlfriend? <laughs> uh, hopefully there is no next girlfriend. Hopefully this is it. Remember when we used to shoot vines together? Play a vine. Let's, can we play a vine? One of the old see, vines. good, man. All right, cool. It's a while ago, huh? All right, you done. That was good, huh? Yeah. Even back then, doing barber videos. This is a historic episode right here. Taking a little trip down memory lane. I didn't know that we were gonna be shooting this, by the way. Jeff just said, yo, you look like you need a haircut. And I was like, I do, because I come by, and I came by. Next thing I know, there's three cameras and a chainsaw. That I asked you to come on this show about seven times now. You were supposed to be my first guest. We had to replace you with a, a, some musically boy. Now, the rest of my career, I'm gonna be known for this guy. You got smart about it. You were like, instead of saying, yo, you wanna come on the show, you are like, yo, you wanna just come catch up and get a haircut. I was like, yeah, it sounds great. Yeah, because you don't do a lot of interviews. Well, I do good ones, you know, like established ones. I'm a little loopy right now, I'm not gonna lie. I took what? a bunch of pills before this. Yeah. Bro, what am I doing here? You gonna cut my hair after you just told me that? I've cut in hair in worse situations. Have you ever cut someone's hair while under the influence of alcohol? I probably cut hair under the influence of alcohol more than I do sober. Good to know. So where are you living now, since you moved out of 1600 Vine? What's your home address? Tell, tell us what, what your new address is. Um, I'm in Studio City. I won't, I, won't, I won't disclose my home address, but I live in Studio City, and I really like it. Hey, remember when we used to go on double dates together? No. I mean, I erased all that shit from my memory. Yeah. So tell me, you're single now, Jeff? Yep. Want to talk about it? Nope. What's it like being single? Are you happy? Are you focusing on you? Are you focusing on your work? Are you going out every single night? Who wants to know what single Jeff is up to? I know I do. I kind of just been doing this, like just doing YouTube videos, editing a lot. Good for you, man. Yeah, it's nice. So you're an editor now. How'd you learn how to edit? I taught myself. How does that make you feel when I say something like that? When you know deep down inside, you're the one who taught me how to edit. Mm. You're the one who first I showed you a up. thing or two, but if I've learned anything in this business, it's that you have to be desensitized to having your ideas stolen. I've stolen ideas. Yeah, I stole this show from multiple people. You gotta people. make them better. I stole it from you. It's true, huh? You have any tattoos, Jeff? Yeah, I got one. I got it in jail. You got a tattoo in jail? Yep. Should we talk about your jail days? Yeah, I don't give a shit. David Dobrik already put it all over the internet. This new friend group? Who? Well, just comprised of... The blog group? David and that crew. I like David, he's a nice kid. And he works really hard. He reminds me a lot of you in the sense that he was always like kind of like a nerdy, like like kind of edited and made videos. Yeah. And so you're a vlogger now, huh? Kinda, I like to call them documentaries because- Yeah, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't call them documentaries. I'd call them vlogs, but do you consider yourself a vlogger? No, no, no. I have camera operators that film me. They walk around with me. It's I'm just funny because w- remember when we were we started shooting together and hanging out together uh, very often, you would, you would make fun of these vloggers. I didn't do that. Yeah, you did. No, Anybody who was a vlogger, you'd be like, F- that kid. Who, me? They're all pieces of I think, you talk, I think you're thinking of somebody else. Nah, you're the only person who talks like that. No. It's just interesting that you've become... A sellout. Yeah, bro. we all have though. You gotta <laughs> cut my hair or what, bro? This is a good episode, huh? He's really getting deep into my past. There's nothing wrong with it. It's actually a noble profession. People make a lot of money and tell a lot of interesting stories. Yeah, I go out, I film my lunch. I say, hey guys, check out what I'm eating for lunch today. Smash like on this vid right now. That kind of material inspired. That's inspired. what I wanted to do ever since I was a little kid. Yo, every time you stop like that, that's like five minutes where you could have been cutting my hair. This show is not about the haircuts. I have no idea what the f- I'm doing with the haircut. I can tell. Uh, you do a lot of music stuff in your videos. Can you do some out of here today? No. Can we get him a, a spoon? 
and a couple glasses out of the thing. Maybe you could bang on them or some shit, do like a little musical segment. We went from shooting vines to performing in sold out stadiums for hundreds of thousands of people. Millions, billions of people. No, it was like about 60,000. 60,000 people. Yeah, three, we, did three, we did a few shows. That's nuts, man. I'm proud of you, dude, honestly. Thanks, man. It was incredible. Opened up a, a, a new creative lane. Live performing was something else. We get the, bring in the spoons. Let's get him to play a song. Rudy, Rudy's known for a lot of videos where he bangs on shit with diff, like different objects. How do you, what do you want me to do with this? And I don't know, do whatever the you do normally to. I can't really, there's not much. Put I can, it in between, hold it in your legs. Hold it like this. Not much I can do with this, you know? You give me a cup and spoons. This is what you make in your videos. Right. You think I'm, I'm making fun of him? Go look at his YouTube channel. Let's see what I can give you. Can you turn me? Can you turn me, barber? Okay. Can someone get these spoons out of here? I feel like an idiot. Just throw them. How much you pay these guys? I pay them with exposure. They get followers on Instagram. That's bullshit, you know that, right? And then eventually they'll do You should demand videos. higher pay. How much money do you have in the bank? $347, uh, 30, $48. $348. Do I have to stare at that f***ing bobblehead of you yep. the whole time? It's a sponsor, they have to stay there. Oh really? They control everything. Looks exactly like you, it's frightening. Hey, with scissor hands over here. Jesus Christ, bro. You never used to do it like this. Don't worry about it. It's like Sweeney Todd's cutting my hair. You're pretty much done. It's not my favorite haircut I've ever given you, but you were insulting me the entire time. Are you being serious or? You want me to put the gel in? If you just give me a little bit, yeah. Let me call my dad first though. He wants to see you, is that okay? Yeah. Hey Jeffy, what's going on? We're doing the barbershop show over here. Hey Jeff. This is my dad, guys. Tell him the best shop in the world, where it's at. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, you ready for the big reveal? Yes, sir. What do you think? I can't really tell with this mirror, but it's good. I mean, it's not what I asked for, but it's fine. You said you wanted 19. So which one do you want it to look like then? I, just the haircut, my haircut, the one you usually give me. I what? only know how to do the ones on the list. I'm good, this is fine, this is good. Jeff, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you, thanks, thanks for good, good friend for years. Good to see you. Thank you for finally coming on. Nothing like a Jeff haircut, that's the truth. I love you, bro. Love you too. Yeah, I do really like this haircut, though. It's really nice. Yeah.